Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. John Megacycle here, another episode of We're Out of Lead. Huh. Or tin. That's what goes in there. Uh, no, that's, it's not, <laughs> the, name, the thing's not called, hey. It, let's start completely over, shall we? <laughs> My name is John Megacycle, welcome to another episode of Factorio, Bob's Mods. Uh, I have to I have to try to make sense of my inventory. I've been moving so much crap. My inventory is now full of well crap. Uh, let's get the tin the tin man going. Uh, how much should I get? Uh, sizable amount, I'd say. Here, tin you up. We weren't hurting for it, which is good. We had a bit of a backlog on the tin. Get it? Thank you. Get all that too. I have to move that tin miner as well. Um, either way, I've been gassing on for the last, like, two, three episodes about the praises of robotics. Um, I guess if you had to put me down, I'm a bit of a technocrat. Um, belief that technology can improve humans, what we do, how we work, how we live, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what the technical term for that is. Um, I'm the opposite of a technophobe. Uh, what? Okay coal issues again. I gotta get all this carbon and crap out of my inventory. This does me zero positive. Does me zero good having an inventory full of crap. Either way, I do want to get... Do I have enough conveyors? I totally do. Okay, so there's my buffer I'm building. And... There. And I'm just gonna feed this its merry way all the way back down. Now, I'm not... I'm not uh, leveling it. Should I do that here? Yeah, I guess. Why not? And how far do I gotta go? Let's how about right there. Plenty of room because we've already gone through and did the damage. We already cleaned up a lot of the lines. Where it came in terms of... Like, all the little mining projects we would have had sitting around. Now, where is this supposed to link up? This line right here. Yes. That goes away. I don't know what the crap that was supposed to do. Can that be moved? It can be, but I'm going to screw up everything else in the process. Um, okay, so where, where did that connect to? Nope, not nearly far enough. So something like that is going to be necessary, and maybe three or four more? I don't know. I'm still getting used to the distance of these underground belts, considering in vanilla they only go four and that's it. Um, I can clean this up a little bit here. And actually, I don't want it leveled there. I want it leveled here. And that's going to go like that, and that's going to go like that. A little bit of cleanup, everyone wins. Especially me, because I'm the one playing the game. Uh, you know what? I know what that splitter was for. I'll show you in a second, but I know what that splitter was for. It was to finish up the rest of the line. So it's going to go something like this, and like this, and like this. Does that work? Yes, that totally works. I just want to see it flow through the system. Oh my god, look at that. So much product. Oh god, so good. <laughs> is my system ugly? Yes. Is it efficient? God no. Does it work? Hell yes. Look at that. Now the only thing I'm still manually feeding is this sucker. Look at that. Non-stop now. Don't stop me now, I'm having just a good time, I'm having a ball, don't stop me now, if you want to have a good time, just give me a call and don't stop me now, don't stop cause I'm having a good time. I don't remember what I was doing, I started singing. <laughs> good God, what is the matter with my brain? I start singing. I start singing! This can all be torn down and restored to its glory. Because all that extra whatever the crap was just killing me. Steel. Steel, buddy. <laughs> You're probably the reason I'm not making any bullets anymore. 
Is that... Is that kosher? Is that... Is that good? Is that legit? Heck, works for me. I'll take that. This needs to get split. We can do this. We can do, we can do this. I have faith. I have confidence. And these are probably a bunch of attributes that are going to get us killed. So, this and this. That fixes that. That fixes that. Hold on, hold on. I'm on the way for a breakthrough here. Autosave. If my computer crashes, I'm not going to have a single flippin' idea what the crap I did. This can go away. This can get shortened. I guess if I have to expand it later, I don't have a problem, but I'd rather keep the base a little cleaner. There, there's that. And this is going to have to be... Another one of these. Bam. Nailed it. I would like to turn these slow mos into normal mos or fast, or whatever. Okay. We got blue coming out. We got the normals all over the place. Oh, it looks like the main line is now preserved, and we're producing way more. So this goes away. This goes away. This, 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 this. That tinned wire is going to be just a mess to move. Um, okay, that one wire there apparently connected the rest of the world. There. I really have to start building some redundancy in my power grid. I can't tell you how many times I've accidentally knocked my grid off, which I've made clear, I've done that before. Knocked my grid offline and then it's like, oh my god, everything's just, I'm under attack, everyone's crying, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> bad, bad, bad things. Free hookup. Okay. Cleaner. I like it. We're already splitting it. I don't need to split it again. There's that. Very cool. This tinned copper wire can get moved elsewhere, and we are very close to finishing our logistics system. Holy crap. Hallelujah. Whatever. Awesome. Okay, what is this missing? It's missing these uh, basic electronic components. This thing is not fast enough as storage. So here's what we need to do to keep up. No, you know what? I don't think I'm interested in storage anymore because we're not even getting enough to the front line because of the storage. There. And I have a bunch of these components I just want to get rid of. Thank you. What, do you need carbon? You totally do. Oh my god, carbon for everybody. Good? Great. Uh, who needs solder? You guys need solder, I think, right? Good. Whew. Okay, I can get rid of the rest of these basic electronic components over here to where we're producing the... I don't know what the hell they're called anymore. Phenonic? Well, this is producing the phen phenolic. That L. That L gets me every time, I think. There's that. Bon appetit. Okay, that gave us a good rush of blue, but not a constant amount. That's fine. I'll take slow over zero any day of the week. No problem. If it, the tech is, tech is a little slow, trying to keep up, fine. It's way better than it being offline. Take that. Take that. I have so much just junk in my system, it's ridiculous. Um, I want... How many how many logistics do I have? 35, I think? We have 35 logistics bots. I would love another 15 before I really start turning this on into high gear. So I need basic electronics. I, I need more of these blue things. Yes! Oh my god! I'm <laughs> so excited! Can't tell you. Oh wait, I can tell you. I'm very excited. Please note the excitement in my voice. Yes, combat robot damage. Go! I don't care what it does. It just needs red and green, and that's all I have at the moment. We're producing far better capacity than we were before. That's the important part. Okay, so what else do I need for the frames? Uh, oh, electric engines. Okay, I haven't been down there in a while. And actually, speaking of which, where's my engine production facility? Up here? We can grab a couple stacks and fill that up. 
Uh, I'll take 150, why not? And I think for flying basic electronic boards, I have 94, I'll steal a bunch more. That'll keep that going. Okay. That's another piece of technology I don't mind. I don't even care how long it takes. It's just one of those low and slow, like we're cooking a uh, pot roast or something. Put it in the crock pot, put it on low, come back in 12 hours or 8 hours or 4 hours, depending on whatever meat you're making, and bazam, delicious. Uh, this? Yep. Okay, it's counting down, so I'm going to say yes. I'll take all 50 of that. How many robots can I make? A fat zero. Awesome. Oh, is it because of all the basic electronic boards to just put in the machine? Of course it is. I am an idiot. Ha 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 ha. Yum 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 yum. Pac-Man. Yum 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 yum. Yum yum yum. This is my song. I call it yum yum. Okay, this isn't producing fast enough, so I don't mind the buffer. The buffer is not impeding anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool. Now, let's take a look at our logistics system. I think I need way more basic I could use another <clears throat> facility producing these basic electronic components maybe two should we roll the dice for two let's roll the dice for two I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good about it I'm feeling a little gutsy uh, take Pilly's paste that is that is such that's another really nice thing I just gas on about is the copy paste functionality you don't understand how awesome that is until you use it the first time. I didn't use it forever. And then I used it once and I'm like, oh my god. Wh why? Why did I never do this before? This was so good. Uh, fine. Is there level 2? Do level 2. Okay, thanks. Bye. Here's what we're going to do. That's going to actually saturate the line for us. That way none of these inserters are getting blocked. And the reason why I did that is if you have one side of it, because they favor the outside of the line when they're uh, placing stuff. This way it's actually going to somewhat saturate the line because it's getting separated here anyway. It's getting committed to one side. So no big deal. That looks a little better. Yeah, I don't think we needed another factory. But I think that's going to keep up quite nicely. Now why isn't this on two lines? Uh, it looks like it'll get on both sides, maybe? Oh, I know why. Because it's splitting on every item. So the one that's on the left happens to be going to the left because it's that turn. And the one that's on the right, it's alternating left and right because of this splitter here. That makes sense. Okay, that's why it's only filling one side. It'll eventually fill both sides when we have enough supply. But right now, that's not the case. Anyway, here's another five. Hooray! That puts us at 40, I think. 40 logistics, 20 construction. That's enough to get us started. It's not, this isn't final at all. With my first Let's Play world, I think I was up to 900. And that's not even a lot. That's not an overbearing ton. That's a good infrastructure. But that's not like, oh my god, 900, I'm, I'm stuffed, I can't do anymore. No, you can... Do plenty more. Wait, what? Nope, that's good. Uh, tin. Let's fill up the tin line. Okay, that's fine. I have to figure out what to do with all this carbon. I don't know what to do with it. Take. How are we doing on? How are we doing on lead? Okay, we're doing pretty good on lead. I'm just gonna put this tin back, I guess. Uh, I should have some room over here, yeah. There we go. So much better having all that, an actual processing facility, as opposed to me just, I don't know, hobnobbing my way to make this stuff work. Uh, I just want to dump this all into one bin. Fine, perfect. Okay. And be free. Okay, now, requester chests. I need I need a bunch of crap. I need smart basic electronic board. Go freaking figure. But we can get a lot of this infrastructure figured out and it won't take a lot of work. So here I'll show you exactly what I'm thinking. I'll do a bunch of these. Um, I don't think I need many more storage chests. 
We'll see. But here's what I need. I need a requester chest here. This requester chest is going to request for, I don't know, 200 coal, let's say, if I can bloody find coal. 200. Perfect. When this gets below 200, logistics bots will get to work. And what else over here was I manually feeding? Here's another coal. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Here's another coal. 200 is fine. I need a light for the love of all that is holy. And unholy while we're at it. Bing, holy crap, thanks. Looking good on the production line. Seems pretty solid. I actually want to do one change. Um, I guess it doesn't matter where I would have made the change. But that can go away. That w it wasn't even being used. Um, either way, who needs solder? Like crazy. And who needs carbon like crazy? You guys do, right? Yep. Perfect. Okay, so. Coal, coal. I think that's all I needed to set up for... Oh! Uh, resin. Right. Requester chest. Resin. Now, we have resin in our system. This is one of the things we can actually meet. Where the crap? Here, resin, resin, resin. Oh, God. I don't know what half of that stuff is. Or any of what that stuff is. <laughs> I'll find it. I'll find Hang on to your butts. I'll find it. Oh, my God. I have to scroll down. <laughs> oh, God. That was unsettling, actually. <laughs> All right. Um... Great. Combat damage. Nope. Follow a robot count. Go for it. Oh, I lost my freaking place. Uh, there it is. Resin. Now, resin, 100 is fine. This is actually something we have in our system. We have 400 resin in our system. When this gets below, the bots will actually go to where we have the active, or no, their passive provider chests and go get some. Perfect. Works just fine. So now what I want to do is, even though we have all these chests down here, I want to turn them into active provider chests, I think. Um, I don't really know how I want to do this. Um, or what I want to do about this, but hang on. We'll do a little bit of this by hand. I don't mind. Great. Perfect. I just want to get some of this coal in the network. So up here, we're just going to do something like this. <laughs> we're just going to do something like this. Auto save. <laughs> Good. Now we have coal in the network. So what we'll do is we'll keep placing requester chests. And everywhere we have a coal requirement, that'll just take care of that. And I'll take care of the filter. And what I want to do is I want to split this and move it up so we're actually storing stuff in the chest. But the problem is, these storage chests are pricey as crap. So we can't just willy-nilly build a bunch of these and just call it a day. You know what I'm saying? I think you know what I'm saying. You're alright. You're cool. You're cool. You know what I'm saying. You're down. Down like a clown, Charlie Brown. Okay, all this needs to get moved. That's been driving me crazy all day. Okay, not interested in that anymore. What I am interested in is that and that. And I don't have any more room up there. Oh, let's see. Now, how do I want to do this kind of crafty-like? Um, I need <laughs> all my stuff back. Thank God for auto-sorting also. Um, I need a splitter. Splitters require basic electronic boards, not not interested. Uh, anything else that doesn't require blue, I kind of still want blue to catch up a little bit, but I guess really not. Uh, let's take a look at, oh, we got we got some blue, we got some blue, okay, cool. Uh, sniper turrets level two, maybe? What do, what do you need to be made with? Steel, 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 invar. Oh, I haven't, I haven't nothing to no invar to nobody is what's going on there. Uh, sniper turret damage upgrade might be cool. Effect transmission would be cool. 
Lots of stuff that would just be really, really awesome. Let's do logistics robot cargo size level one. That halves that halves the trips, literally. We're just gonna split this right here. And everything else is gonna follow me. Now realistically what should happen is I should be doing this after I'm getting it into my system, but for right now, I kinda don't care. There's a buffer, there's a buffer, there's a buffer, there's a buffer. Here's the logistics chests. So we can build a pretty sweet buffer system like to have all this stuff on hand without actually needing a billion logistics chests. But the logistics chests that we need will stay full. Again, this is like a, a I, don't, I don't know what you'd call it, lazy man's way to get this done. So those chests will fill up and as the buffer fills, it'll actually keep these full as well. So we have only two logistics chests that we're going to be filling, but it acts like two, four, six, eight, ten. That's the idea behind that. I don't know if it's smart. It'll work. And it'll also start bleeding out that coal line a little bit. So realistically for buffer, I almost want to pull this out, but eh, let it go crazy a little bit more. All right. What is next on our to-do? I don't even really know. I'm just trying to think for a second here. Thinking. Oh my god, they triple bajillioned in size. Oh, I can't wait for automated whatever technology that'll be coming up soon. That automated drone attacking or whatever. That's going to be sweet. Okay, so now let's get a little more to brass tacks. We have batteries that are being provided, passive providers, that's fine. We have plastic that's passive provider, that's fine. And actually since, oh, um, how do I want to do this? I guess just for giggles sake, um, this is a bit of a waste because I could just pipe it over, but I'm going to need a requester chest anyway for the lead. So here we go. Where in the heck? There, plastic, 100 is fine. And this requires lead, right? Man, when I first read Bob's Mods and it said, I read somewhere on the forum, it said, will extend gameplay for several hours. I was like, bah, I'll be fine. That won't be a big deal. Holy crap, was I wrong. Okay, so we're gonna increase that a little bit. I don't need this many batteries in my inventory. If I, heck, I'll I'll take one more space if I can get it. Um, provider, passive provider. I have a bunch of those. So here's what I'm gonna do with this. Which I can do pretty easily here. Passive provider, passive provider. No, oh, come on, come on. You can do it, I believe in you. There, there's our lead, there's our tin, and now the robots go to work. Unfortunately, right now they can only pick up one item a piece, which sucks, but they're pretty quick now. Like I said, I don't even use logistics bots when they're level one. Yep, dropping one, but now I don't have to worry about batteries anymore. Batteries will take care of all by themselves. That's one less thing I've gotta, I've gotta work over. Um, requester chest goes here. This needs engines and basic electronic boards, yeah? Yep. So, as you start to build out your logistics network like this, um, you'll see it just really start to come together. I think you really, the trick is to concentrate on one commodity, like we did coal right off the bat. We took care of the supply, done deal. Now we're working on some metals and some other basic stuff that we have on hand, and that's a simple thing. When we need to start requesting for more expensive product, that's where that's going to become a little more of an issue and a little more complicated. But for right now, basic electronic board, great. I don't have basic electronic boards in the system yet, um, but you could just take that for right now. But like I said, we're just starting to build up and look at our logistics system storage on the right. Coal, repair, plastic, batteries, wood, resin, tin, lead. It'll build up over time. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want to have happen. And since it's pulling from the system here, it acts as its own buffer that it can provide to the to the network. So that's fine by me. Oh, 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 I accidentally grabbed a couple of you guys. 
Um, now, what do I need? Flying robot frame. I just want to build another, like, 50. I really do. Basic electronic boards. Go figure. Uh, steel. Steel is another one that I really like to have. Passive provider. How about right there? Thanks much. That'll take a while to catch up and build up, but that's another thing that we could just start putting requester chests somewhere completely different. And as also we can supply the raw materials, should not be a problem. All right, we're out of the, not the basic circuit board, the cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. Uh, uh, base, uh, wooden board, copper cable, okay. We need more production here. I can't move this, can I? Dang it. Um, anyway, yes, this needs to get torn up and replicated up a bit. I'm trying to think how I want to do this, because this I would like to gut this whole thing. Maybe move it over here and do the same thing. Just re-add it back to the line. So to make this work, I need the wood. I need copper. And I think that's it. Okay, so, oh, let's do some math first. I'm afraid we'll have to use math. Okay, so for every one game tick, we're producing four copper cable. For every one game tick, we're producing four boards. Okay, that's a one-to-one. -one. And for every one game tick, we need four and one. Okay, so I need two. Two will produce excess, so I need two wire and one wood. And that'll go to one of these constantly, right? Two, four. Unless I'm doing my math really wrong, I think. This produces four every game tick. This produces four every game tick. This Oh, okay, no, it's a one, one, one with excess, okay. Cool, I got it. I'm in, I'm good. So, copper, copper. And then, really, I guess, boards. Since it's a, it requires three. So, oh god, I need more of them. No! Basic electronic board, all right. Sweet, a little carnival music. I don't even remember what I was singing before. Is that weird? <laughs> I got so involved in whatever I was singing earlier in this episode, I forgot what the crap I was singing. That's okay. There's our board. Let's hook this whole joint up. And I should be able to finish this before the episode's over, I think. And this turns fake wood or whatever into real wood. That. And then I want something like this. Oh, gosh. Come on. Okay. Thanks. So here's how this is going to fly. Get it? Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> okay, it takes care of that. Copper on one side, wood on the other. And I want to save us some room. So we're going to do something like this. Oh, I lost something. Okay, crap. I have to check that out. I want to get this done, though. Oh my gosh, I want to get this done. Alright, we'll, we'll come back. I have plenty of conveyors, no big deal. Um, I wouldn't mind to make some sniper turrets. Can I make some sniper turrets? Da, 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 da. Four. Sniper turrets are my only friends. I mean, except regular turrets, because those guys are badass. Except for... Uh, destroyer. Destroyer capsules. Those are pretty badass, too. Okay, nothing is missing here. A little bit of damage. Note to self, for the love of God, grab 50 repair kits. Uh, I see stuff damaged. I don't see stuff missing, though. Huh. 
Huh, weird. Okay, well, you're still using regular ammo. You can enjoy that. Very seriously, I don't know what I'm missing. Is that terrifying? <laughs> it sounds terrifying. Um, how are we doing on coal? I don't want this to be screwing up my power production. Power production looks good. Consumption's actually lower than usual, I think. I thought we were using like 11 megawatts. Nope, we have our buffer. We're doing great. That's perfect, fine, awesome. Um, I forgot what I was doing. Uh, so let's take a break right here. Oh, I remember. I remember now. But yeah, let's still take a break. Um, thanks for joining me, guys. This is John Megacycle. Bob's Mods, Factorio style. Thanks for joining. And yeah, I'll, I'll take a break. I'll catch you guys next time.